Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be talking about week seven, finding the one. After all the waiting, searching, longing, and looking, have you finally found the one? My name is Rachel and I am a local realtor in the Western North Carolina area. It is week seven of the 90 day homeownership challenge. Today, let's talk about how you can know that you found the home of your dreams. I've been in real estate professionally and personally when I bought real estate a few years ago and I have found some good indicators to tell that you have in fact found the one. But before we get started, if you'll hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can get updates on all my new videos regarding real estate tips, tricks, and just fun lifestyle vlogs. So thank you so much. And without further ado, let's get started. So one of the first indicators that you might have found the one is you can't quit talking about the home. So maybe you've been discussing it with your friends and you keep talking about it with your family and you also keep talking about it when you meet strangers at a grocery store. You're just so excited you can't stop talking about it. That is a big indicator that you have found the one. Another indicator is that you're looking at houses and all you can think about is that other house that probably means that that other house is the one you should go for um and also in that same regards you're comparing that house to all the other houses you're going to see if you're doing that then you should focus your time and energy on deciding what kind of offer you want to make on that house also, if you keep looking back at photos of that house, that's probably a good indication that you like the house. Um, whether it's looking at photos back online from the listing agent, or maybe it's actual pictures you took while you were viewing the home. You know, I definitely think that buyers should take videos and pictures while they're touring a house, especially if it's a house that they really like. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, as long as it's, you know, just for you. I mean, you can still show your family and friends, but you know, you're not using it for any type of advertisements or anything like that. Um, it's totally okay. Um, I personally believe that it helps jog your memory. I know you might think that you'll remember every little detail about that house because you really like it, right? Well, you might remember most of it, but more than likely you're not going to remember every specific little detail. So having those pictures and videos will really help. Also, another indication is you want to go back inside the house again. So say you just got done with the listing showing and you want to go back inside just for one more, you know, quick look around. That's a good indication that you like the house. Also, maybe you're getting a little defensive about the house. Maybe your friends or family are trying to be devil's advocate and, you know, telling you some of the negatives um, about the house, whether it's the house itself or, you know, maybe it's a little bit further away from downtown than you would have liked. And you're like, it doesn't matter. It won't take me that long. You're defensive. That means you really like it. Also, if you're starting to think about how you want to rearrange furniture or what color of paint you're wanting to paint a certain room, that's a good indicator you really want to make an offer on this house. And of course, a great indication is if it make if it checks off all your needs. That is obviously a big part. You know, of course, there's way more to buying than just the fuzzy feelings that you can get or painting a room or decorating a certain area. The bottom line is you should feel excited. It's an exciting time in your life. This is one of the biggest purchases that you'll ever make in your life. And it's a huge accomplishment buying a house. So you should be proud. You know, it, yes, of course it needs to meet your needs and it should fit your budget, but I really believe in the saying that when you know, you just know. Personally, for me, when I bought my home, 
that was what it was when i stepped foot on this property i knew it was home it was exactly what my husband and i had imagined we had looked at other houses but just nothing else compared so we just knew have you experienced the thrill of buying a home or do you want to well i'd love nothing more to than make that happen if you're looking to buy in the north carolina area then please send me a message and let's connect soon even if you're not if you're looking to buy in another state please feel free to reach out and I'll be happy to get you with another realtor in your area. Next week in our challenge, we're going to be talking about how to make an offer a seller can't refuse. So please stay tuned. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be ready for next week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Until next time, see ya.